Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, man, I have got one crazy exciting video for you guys. Something that, something happened a couple days ago that I never in a million years could have even considered it happening and it has to do with this. So I'm out here today with the uh, TYM 5835R with my uh, Rhino flex wing mower. It's the TS10, 10, 10 foot wide flex wing mower. Listen, I know it's Oklahoma and I know it's hot and I have another TYM tractor with a cab. So why the heck am I out here mowing with an open station tractor? And the simple answer is because I love this tractor. This little 5835 tractor, uh, which I have some other news about possible situation here. Uh, this tractor is incredible. It pulls this mower so well and I just love using it. It feels like a big, strong, beefy tractor, but I'm not, I repeat, I am not out here mowing all of these fields because people are like, why aren't you cutting the hay or why aren't you using it? Or why aren't you doing this? So really all I'm doing today is just mowing roads, roads and trails. We are constantly on our side by side and, uh, between myself and my wife and Emily and Houston, we're always out running around on the side by side and we like to take the dogs and Kelsey, the GSP has a lot of energy. So it's good to have plenty of places for her to run and roam. And uh, when the grass gets three feet tall, it's just not as pleasant. So just doing a little road maintenance, trail maintenance. And uh, it kind of doubles as part of what I'm doing here on this property, my neighbor's place that I leased you guys. I've told you that several times. This is where we've been doing the cedar tree removal. And this is an area that we cleaned up under these trees a couple months ago and it looks so much better. But uh, it is on a program to where we're gonna do a big prescribed fire in a couple of years. It's hoping for 25, but it's looking like it's gonna be 26 because the federal government has a shutdown right now. And we're not allowed to uh, do a whole lot until they come in and do a survey and say there's no Native American burial grounds here. Whole nother story, but I'm gonna forget where I was going. <laughs> I think I just did. Anyways, I'm, I'm mowing some roads and trails. Oh, because we're working on, you know, a future burn plan. Part of that is I have to maintain an 18 foot wide, 18 foot wide perimeter around the burn. And so most of that's going to be pretty simple to do, but we have to keep it mowed and we don't want big, tall fuels there. So we're still way out from the control burn, but it's still a good idea to keep those perimeters and along the fence lines and everything mowed. So that's what I'm doing right now. So what does an Atlanta Braves t-shirt have to do with me, us, and this video? Well, I thought you would never ask. I'm so excited to tell you. So, no, for real. I really am excited. This is a pretty cool story, but we'll get there. We'll get to the cool part in a second. Uh, so I had a, uh, a request from TYM, I don't know, a month or two ago that they were wanting to bring in all of their social media influencers to Atlanta to their main like corporate office and have a, an annual meeting of sorts. Now, let's see, last year sometime, I guess it was last year, I don't know, I lose track of time, TYM had bought out Branson tractors. So this TYM 5835R was originally a Branson model. They merged the two companies and now both are TYM which means a lot of uh, turnover and, and uh, staff and all of those things and different people in different positions. So the social media side of things, the, the folks that run the social media side of TYM 
I wanted to bring us all in and just sit down and have a meeting, something we've never done. I call it like an, an influencer summit. Basically just a meeting for all, all the influencers to be on the same page as the people in the corporate office at TYM. And part of that, they said they were gonna take us to an Atlanta Braves game because TYM is a like an official sponsor of the Atlanta Braves. I was like, eh, okay, that might be pretty cool. Houston loves baseball. I grew up playing baseball. Everybody loves the Braves, right? Maybe not everybody, but most everybody. Uh, so we head to Atlanta a couple days ago. My wife and Emily did not want to go. They were not interested in the Braves game, and it was a quick trip. We are just going to be down there like a couple days and come home. Well, my good friend Richie, who you guys have seen on a, a lot of different videos, he, he's the, the famous Richie from the fishing videos, um, is a diehard Braves fan. So I said, can we please get one more ticket? And I said, yeah, sure. Because he knows everything about the Braves. So we loaded up, had about a uh, six, seven hours worth of meetings with TYM and did all that stuff. And uh, I found, some, <laughs> found out something very intriguing in my brain. So while we did go over all of everyone's expectations for TYM, what TYM has for us as, you know, content creators, what they need from us, what they want from us, they did tell us a few insider details. And uh, so I have two TYM tractors, the original 574. I love it. It's a great tractor. But then this is the 5835R. And I really, really like this tractor. Like I like it a lot. Okay. They told me when I when I got this tractor, the they only it only came the only possible way to get this tractor was with an open station, no cap. Okay. So they may or may not be releasing this exact model with a cab in the very near future. And if so, I would love to trade this one in on a cab model. I think. It would be the perfect tractor for me and what I do and all the things that I need a tractor for. The cab on the 574 is great. Having that air conditioner is amazing. But this tractor is just loaded with tons of different features that the 574 doesn't have. Not that it's a bad tractor, it does great. But I enjoy this tractor a lot. So if, if they do release this model with a cab, I think that would be the perfect tractor for my farm. But that's not the exciting news that has to do with the Atlanta Braves, right? No, that's not it. And I, and I don't know, you know, how many people here are super interested in Atlanta Braves baseball. But this was, this was going to be my first MLB game and Houston's first MLB game. But TYM, being a sponsor, also managed to get us tickets to go on the field for batting practice. Which was really, really cool. That's pretty cool. Hey. <laughs> it kind of looks like a couple rings you won in baseball tournaments. Yeah, but real. Yeah, but real. That's right. A little different, huh? Yeah. Just a little bit. Maybe someday, right? Maybe. Man, maybe we'll get to go down on the field or something. Yeah. What do you think? I wish. Let's see. What's that say? VIP batting practice experience with TYM North America on the field for batting practice. Oh, what? Are you serious? I guess so. Yeah, we're all together. Are you a little bit excited? Yeah. We've got another huge surprise that we're not telling anybody about yet, right? What? Yeah, oh, what? Yeah. Oh. I know. 
Don't try to look excited. Try, try to contain it a little bit, okay? <laughs> You're uh, on the field. On the field with the Braves. I see that. <laughs> You got at home, you've been collecting, you're like, oh, it's an autograph card. Well, you. This one is real. That one's authentic to the yes, core, huh? It is. <laughs> That's crazy. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm not a used car salesman, but there's more. So, the original plan, they were going to pick us all up. We we're all going to ride together, go, go to the stadium, check everything out, go to batting practice, watch the game. Great night. Good job, TYM. Well, that's not all. There is one more. <laughs> Great big detail. <laughs> While we were, actually before we ever even made it to the Atlanta Brave Stadium, Emily, one of the ladies that works for TYM that, that to direct, you know, social media link to us, she kind of supervises all the social media content creator stuff right now. She said she got a call from the lady that was their correspondent with the Braves and said, hey, the Braves don't have anyone to be the honorary team manager at the game tonight. And would Houston be interested? I was like, well, I think he would be interested, but what does that mean? What does that entail? And she said, it's, it's exciting. He'll get to go on the field with the coaches and the umpires and go out to the coaches meeting at the pregame, at the at home plate. Listen, this... I don't even know how this is possible. What's going on here? There's the dugout. What are we, what are we doing? We're like front row right now. What are we doing? Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So Houston got asked to be the like honorary team captain to go out on the field for like the coaches meeting with the umpires. I don't really know a whole lot about it. Don't know how we pulled this one off. But Houston's going to be out on the field for a little while with the coaches and the umpires. Pre-game. Pretty cool deal. Yeah, I think Richie's a little jealous. He is, definitely. Home's honorary team captain is Houston Arms.
How about that? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, So, as you can see, uh, Houston, I'm very jealous. I think everyone in the stadium was very jealous of Houston. I, I, I don't know anyone. I didn't even know they did that. But I, didn't know, I don't know anyone that's gone out to home plate for the coaches meeting before the game starts with both coaches and the umpires. Like, how? What? It blows my mind. So, while it was a quick trip, we're just there for a couple days, I... I I never dreamed that that we would get to go down on the field of the Braves um, batting practice, you know, and do all that stuff. Houston got to talk to some players, got to get some autographs. And then when they asked if he wanted to go be the honorary team manager for the night, that was, that was cool. That was something that that little boy's never going to forget. I can promise you that. And uh, he took some of his baseball cards, got some of his baseball cards signed and things, and I, like I, 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 I'm almost speechless because I, I, I can't even comprehend sometimes the, the blessings that have came through social media, through making silly videos on YouTube and Facebook and the things that, that have the doors that the Lord has opened up for us and the things that we've got to go and do and see just blows my mind. And, you know, there's, I don't know how many thousands of people, how many thousands of kids were at the Braves game that night, but Houston got picked to go down on the field. And that was just an incredibly special moment for me as a parent, because I gave up a, 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 a very honorable, um, career as a state trooper to pursue something that most people wouldn't consider anywhere near as honorable and not near as um a you know a type personality manly man kind of career but the things that i've got to go and do and see and like open up doors for my family to go and do and see blows my mind so huge thank you to tym tractors they've we've partnered with tym for three years now and uh it's been it's been amazing i mean it's cool to be able to get to meet and do and see and you know it was it was so much fun we got to hang out with a lot of other creators not a lot there were a few other creators there nathan from out of the woods didn't show up nathan is also sponsored by tym was supposed to be there alum though wasn't able to make it but tony from tony's tractor adventure hank from hamiltonville farm and joe the farmer I've never, I, I didn't know Joe the farmer at all. He's totally new with TYM, but got to meet him, got to hang out with him. Really cool guy. Um, I, I, he's only, I think at like 20,000 subscribers, 20, 25,000, don't quote me, but his videos look like he's got 225,000. He does a very good job. But anyways, it's just, it blows my mind what types of opportunities and doors have been opened up for us through sharing silly videos out here shot on my iphone and edited on free editing software and uploaded to a free platform it blows my mind it literally blows my mind i, I, don't, I can't even comprehend it so anyways once again huge thank you to tym for believing in us trusting in us and partnering with us and uh, i look forward to more years of a successful partnership with them
Well, that's about gonna wrap it up for me today. And, uh, hmm, I told you. <laughs> I don't know if it was as exciting of a video for you as it was for us in person, but it was, it, it, it's crazy. I, I never, I don't, I don't even know how to explain that opportunity. I didn't even know that, I didn't even know that was an opportunity for, uh, for somebody to get to go out to home plate with the umpires and the coaches and all that stuff. It's just kind of mind blowing, but anyways, I've got chores to do around here. DJ and Emily took care of all the animals while we were gone. Really, it was just a couple days, but, uh, it's my turn to pick up, pick back up on the chores, get some things done. And, uh, I've got a little boy in the house that wants to go fishing. So got to get chores done so we can go fishing. I don't know if we're going to head to the Creek or what. We can't take the boat out today because I dropped it off at the, uh, at the boat shop at the dealers, <coughs> the dealership where we purchased it before we left for our trip because we finally got all of the, uh, electronics that we're putting on the front all the components all finally came in so they were installing all that stuff so hopefully it's completed in the next day or so because we've got a trip coming up at the end of the week that i'm very excited about go do some crappie fishing and catch some big giant monster bluegills i hope so <clears throat> i'm gonna go in the house and clean up because i got dust all over me from the brush hog it's not a brush hog it's a flex wing mower <coughs> excuse me ah, anyways remember do something today to make somebody smile because you never know. It just might change the world. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.